Okay, so first story today, uh, those macro conditions are improving, they're looking up. They are looking up indeed. So last week we had three indicators to look at. One is obviously we had inflation, CPI, US inflation numbers mm -hmm. came in lower than expected at 2.9% versus 3%. So that's obviously quite bullish. Um, we also had retail sales for July. They came in higher as well. And weekly unemployment benefit claims also were lower than expected. So this obviously is, and then also there was consumer confidence index numbers yes. that came in on Friday, which were the first time it's risen in five months. So all of these factors together um, led Goldman Sachs, for example, to say that they reduced their chance of a US recession uh, in the next year from 20% to 15%. And of course, this means all stars are aligned potentially for a Fed pivot uh, in September, which we're all looking forward to. That is what we all want, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. The Fed finally to pivot to cut interest mm. rates. There's talk of them maybe cutting as much as 50 basis points. Many people want that. So I've seen lots of analysis around it. So many commentators think that the Fed is potentially a bit behind the curve here and mm -hmm. they should drop it pretty quickly because apparently two weeks ago we had that unemployment, that un, you know, the quick spike in unemployment, yeah. which led many to say, hey, the SARM rule has been triggered, therefore, you know, we're in a recession, let's adjust. But um, the probabilities have adjusted, if you look on the chart there, this is the CME Fed Watch tool. So it basically calculates the probability of certain uh, interest rate conditions based on futures interest rate, interest rates. And uh, we'll see that it was 50%, 50% uh, about a week ago, so even odds on that. And now mm -hmm. it's come down to 30% of a 50 basis point hike. So the market thinks that the Fed is more than likely to be at 70% chance of a 25 basis point cut. So guys, welcome back on YouTube channel. Like we uh, see in the previous short video that um, we have now uh, inflation. What come under 2.9, but is quite bullish for the market. And all of these factor push the Fed in September to uh, go 0.25 less. What does mean that for the market? Because um, this is what everybody, you know, want to know. It means theoretically, it sounds everything quite nice and, and, and quite great. And it is that uh, something what we expect. If you follow us, we say that um, back for a couple of months, we say that in the end of the year, we will have a lot of uh, bullish news and um, even if now the market it's looking, let's say so, not quite great with BTC staying under 60,000 from our point of view is just, let's say so, um, the last, uh, last couple of weeks maybe when we can go uh, strong in the market invest because this kind of price we will not see soon in uh, September let's say so can be the start of the let's say so the new bull market and uh, how we predict in um, uh, beginning of this year we said that the end of 2024 BTC should be between 85 and 90k at least that's why we also say again and again this price what we see now BTC around 60k it's something, uh, let's say so, something what we will not see uh, for long. And um, this is the moment when we should uh, go on the market. But in the finally, it's your decision uh, what you do with your uh, money. So, guys, uh, this is it for today. Just bullish news. And uh, we expect a very green September. Follow us for more because uh, we will... We uh, will do also a video when we will present our watch list because we always make a video about our portfolio. But because many of you ask me which, which uh, watch list we have, which uh, project do we follow and maybe we will invest in the future. Until next time guys, stay in crypto, stay positive, follow us for more and do not forget, stay positive.